Hi folks, welcome to this Viking Electronics product short. My name is Andrew and today we are going to talk about Viking's E-series of IP entry phones. The Viking E-series IP entry phones are all designed around the same feature set. Here we've got the E10 IP, which is shown here in this surface mount uh, box, the VE 5X5. NR, which doesn't have a little rain guard, dash SS. We've got the E20 IP, which is designed to surface mount. E30 IP, which is shown here in the VE 5X5 kind of traditional surface mount box with uh, the lip here. And we've got the E32 IP, which is actually going to fit your standard double game boxes, uh, but not these five by five boxes. These phones are all SIP compliant. POE powered and designed to operate as a third party SIP endpoint on your IP phone system uh, or connected right to a SIP trunk from a compatible provider. They all connect with a single ethernet connection, a cat 5e or a cat 6 cable with the RJ45 plug and they're available in both indoor and outdoor rated models. When a user presses the call button, these phones come off hook activating a built-in five number auto dialer, which is gonna cycle on busy no answer to the next number. These program numbers can be a cell phone, they can be an off-premise extension or an extension on your phone system, uh, maybe your home phone or a remote office somewhere. It could, it could even be a pager. Once a call is answered, two-way communication is established. These phones are equipped with Viking's automatic noise canceling software, which enables use in loud environments like uh, maybe a loading bay for a warehouse or you've got a busy street outside your office. The called party can then decide to let the person in, uh, either a gate or a door, uh, using a touch tone command, which will activate an onboard relay. Uh, that relay is either normally open or normally closed, and you program that in the software GUI. So these E-Series IP entry phones actually come with a software GUI included with the purchase of the phone. This is where you'll enter your network access credentials in order to use the phone and then go on to program your phone numbers, your relay activation code, relay activation duration, if it's normally opened or normally closed. One thing that customers will bring up to me is that they want more secure relay operation. Having the relay built into the unit is great for a one solution, a one device solution, but having the relay at the door can present a security risk if someone were to break into the phone and know electronics and how things are wired and be able to short the wires and open the door. So Viking makes model RC-4A, which is a remote relay controller. That unit will sync with these entry phones and move the relay back away from the door into a server closet or a phone room so it's additional layer of security for your access control. One last thing I want to mention before we close, uh, these VE series boxes that are on the E10 IP and the E30 IP are sold separately. Both of these phones come with a flush mount box that is uh, designed to fit specifically these phones. The E32 IP does not come with this surface or this flush mount double game box, but it is just a standard double game box. You can get these anywhere from your distributor. It probably has millions of them and they want you to have them. Thanks for watching this Viking Electronics product short about the E-Series IP entry phones. Uh, be sure to click like and subscribe to the Viking channel. Check the description for links and more information below. And actually, uh, let us know in the comments section, have you used any of the E-Series IP entry phones? How did it go? What did you learn? Let us know in the comments section. We appreciate that very much. I'm Andrew with Viking Electronics, and I'll see you next time.